Hello everyone and welcome back to Freeways. This is our, oh, let's see, fifth episode in the series, I believe. And in this episode, we ain't going to use roundabouts. That's right, people. Now, I've been looking for specific levels where we won't need roundabouts and paying attention to where the traffic goes. And as you can see here, traffic's going to go over in that direction. It's going to go back across this way. And that's because there's only the, uh, the one junction here. So this should be a level... Uh, easily done without roundabouts, right? Uh, we're going to start off by dragging this all the way over to there. And remember, to be efficient, we want to use as little concrete as we can. So then what we're going to do is somewhere around here, just peel off, go up to the top, and create a little connection there. Now, the same thing can be said of this road going back the other way. So we want to connect these two quickly. And we're probably going to do that sort of up here. Right, the other one can join just there. We'll go over here, we'll go down, and then we'll bring it across all the way to that side. And the ending there was a little bit janky, but that's fine. Okay, so go up, and it went up the other direction. I don't know why it did that, peeps, that's not on. Okay, that's much better, right. And then go there and connect, please. Thank you, excellent, it connected. Now the last one is just that one going over to that side, and in theory, it could go to these sides as well because they've got exits, but it only wants to go that way. So we're going to go over here. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to go up, then we're going to go down, and we're going to connect with this road. And that is a completed network, and I believe we should get a high efficiency score. Let's see what's going on. That looks very efficient to me. Very, very efficient. <laughs> Four, four, four. That's a pretty good score. Not the highest we got, but I'm pleased with that. That works out pretty well. The next level that we're going to do is in the bottom corner of the map. And we've got a similar situation going on as well. If we click on this one here, you can see it only wants to go to blue and red. So it's only going to have a certain amount of connections. That one wants to go there. This one doesn't want to. That one doesn't. So yeah. Um, hmm. Now I need to think about how to execute this plan, right? So that's our main road, and I think all we're going to need is two extra connections. We're going to need like a connection area down here to bring this road onto it, and that road onto it so it can reach all of its destinations. They also need to cross over one another, um, so that'll actually probably be like a straight connection. Even though there's not a lot of traffic going there, it'll probably be a straight up connection like this. You know, I said I wasn't going to use any roundabouts. I got a feeling that a little mini floating roundabout there would actually be the best way to go, but aim for this episode is like a challenge. No roundabouts because I get a lot of comments about how much I use roundabouts. So there's our next connection and now we've got to build the one up here. So I want to be a little bit cheeky with this and see yeah we can go close like that. Now the other place it wants to go to is this road over here. So with very little space we're going to peel off uh, and that didn't work out so well did it? Right so I will rebuild all of this and we'll try that connection again. Okay, that connection works. Now it's time for the next one. Um, I've got a feeling it's a bad idea to put the connection here going across that way because the traffic comes out of here and then they sort of cross each other off. You want to get that traffic off first, don't you? And the only way we're actually going to do that now is by creating a connection here that goes up and goes up again. Then it's going to come down and it's going to come down again and then it's going to curve and it makes a connection. So that could have been organized a little bit better. I've got a feeling that these high roads probably cost a lot more concrete, so it'll affect your efficiency. Uh, but that is looking pretty superb so far, and I believe all we need to do now is give each of these ones a connection to either side. So this road here needs a connection going across. One of those looks very simple, so we'll add the simple little connection. And then again on this side, actually, it's just going to be like a little clover leaf thing. Excellent. And then coming that way, it's going to be a simple one. And on the opposite side, it's going to be a clover leaf, right? Uh, except, hmm, is it? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, no, of course it is. Right, I get it. So here we go around, point back into that one. Excellent. That should be a completed network. I mean, all the connections are there, right? I've just learned something else. Ah, do you see the difference? The beeping shows you where there isn't a connection. So we've got beeping purple and beeping green. So if we come down here, um, these are only exit ramps for those connections. We need on ramps as well. So blue will need to go to purple and green. So it needs to come off the side and go down there. 
and it needs to find its way over there. Definitely would have been more suitable to have a roundabout here, I think. But this is the no roundabouts challenge. We're going to stick to doing it, and we're going to complete this level without a single roundabout. So this connection here is a little bit cheeky. And when I make these roads, I think it would be smart if I were to just have a bigger gap between them. But then again, again, we can kind of get away with a lot. So now what we're going to do is go up. And let's make sure we get this right. We're going to drop in over there, yeah. So we're going to go all the way across. And about there, we're going to drop down into that road. And the network is complete. And that looks super dodgy. And I've seen quite a few of our little connections, you know, turnings off are pretty slow for the cars to maneuver around. So it's not well done, but it should get the job done. And you can see that red here has a lot of traffic going through it slowly. And I think that's probably where we lose some efficiency. 308. I'd say that's pretty de decent. I think our approach to this no roundabouts and, you know, trying to figure out how to do these things based on uh, where the traffic's going is a pretty good approach. So this one right here, connection road between those two, both of it peeling off to that. And then those just want to exit to specific places. So that should be relatively easy. Um, there is a crossover here is what I've noticed. So let's start on this side. We're going to come in fairly close so we don't use tons of concrete. And then on this side we're going to go up. And then we're going to go down here. And I may have not have left myself a lot of room for connections. But it doesn't look like they want to go too far. So uh, both of them just want to exit to this one. So I think actually I should put the crossover in the middle. So that is kind of reasonable. Not really sure if that's the most organized way to lay it out, but that's what we've ended up with. This one just wants to exit down there. So joining the road here would make sense, but then we're gonna have traffic going to this location in the way. And there's not a lot of space to create a connection down the bottom. That one, again, uh, will probably just come down and go like this. Now what I don't want to do is keep redesigning levels. If I could push and pull the roads, that would be amazing. Push this up a little bit, have a connection come straight down. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll do it the inefficient way that I just described. So we'll go over here. We'll have a shorter road, but it means this traffic joins uh, before that traffic exits. And we might see a bit of a backup, but if we look at how much traffic is flowing through here, it really looks like it's just about using as little um, yeah, concrete as possible. I think a roundabout was best on that one. <laughs> Ironically, in the no roundabout traffic uh, challenge, if you think about how little traffic was going through, just a roundabout in the middle and connections to all of it. All right, roundabout. Do you remember what the score we got was? I don't. A lot of the traffic sort of flows the long way around this roundabout. Maybe it should have gone around the other way. 203. I think it's slightly better. Uh, it's the no roundabouts challenge. I did complete this level without using a roundabout before you go angry in the comments at me, okay? Okay, I did. You saw it. <laughs> What's this one? Is this another one with some interesting connections? This is equal connections, which again, a roundabout uh, probably suits rather well. So let's skip that one. Uh, what do we have over here? Okay, a lot of traffic that wants to go to those two places. Uh, traffic from there doesn't want to go to the bottom and a little bit of traffic is going to come out of there and that's going to go one way. Interesting. Right, this will definitely make for a, an interesting level. Alright, so two of our destinations kind of meet each other, which is alright. Then I was thinking what we could do is use this road here to minimise the amount of concrete that we're going to use overall. So we're going to put the traffic on there and now it needs to go to two other places. So if we peel off here okay and come down like that we will connect with that one uh, I haven't left myself a lot of room and actually I think I'm gonna create a second little peel off here and then you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna drop in cheekily on the top of that one which we seem to be able to get away with um, so now that's got all of its connections done right uh, we've got to bring red down to the bottom here this one isn't bothered blue is and that's it so blue and red need to come down to here so again if we borrow this road and wow I have not given myself any space to make this look remotely interesting or nice and it's gone back on itself ah oh, I was gonna just whip it over the top there okay we have all of our connections back here I've just noticed that the next connections I want to make are super easy so if we go from here up to there we make one of them the other one is that one so this road here let's go like that drop it down and it I've joined it to the wrong connection the wrong side of it I failed myself again jeez okay we're making the connection correctly there 
I was half wondering about pulling it off in this little space, but then we've got the other road to connect as well. So what we'll do here is come out, curve around, and drop in just there. Perfect. I think there's one connection left, and that's the red one. Oh, uh, blue needs a lot of connections, apparently. <laughs> it wants to go to a lot of places. So it needs to go to green, red, and yellow. Um, so how can we get it to green and red? The exit road is there, so I think a little drop down. Oh, just there. Just enough space. Awkward looking ramp. Now we've got to go to green as well, which your exit is on this side. So this space here that I was going to use earlier is now actually useful for us. So if we do that... Oh, that's an awful connection, but it's worked. And then it wants to go to yellow. Um, so, I think what we'll do... I've got a bit of an interesting idea. If we do this, go up and over as we so often do... Oh, that's awful. That's really awful. <laughs> uh, uh, but then it's just red that wants to go here. So red can do this. A little bit of a U-turn just before that junction. And now we've just got a crazy mental looking road system with some really odd turns and changes in it but it looks like we get away with them because there's not a lot of traffic flowing through those bits 359 pretty good i'd say pretty good another level done without a roundabout okay this looks pretty obvious to me we should simply make some main roads between the two things and then use little junctions to cross over right although the thing is they kind of want to go back and forth so that might suggest a roundabout in the middle between all of the connections might work best. I think I might actually want to try that. Um, let's get the main roads in first of all, okay? Because it's going to be it's going to be pretty simple, except there's a river in the way. That quite honestly seemed like a good idea until I actually built it. Well, my thinking was by having this loop like so, we can have easy connections at either end. So it is using a roundabout. I have broken my own rules. Jeez, give me a break. Um, but, uh, yeah, look, look how easy it is to add connections in both directions, right? If we were to do this without a roundabout, we would just be creating a massive scramble of tracks. So now we're going to come down there and join with that road. And then it's the same dealio down the bottom here. So we'll use these ramps to help us get on. So you've got to come off to the side, connect just there. I'm going to have an exit at this point to come across to that bit. And then one here that goes downwards. Like so, and we should see network complete very soon. And we did it! Nice! The logic checks out. So, let's speed it up. And it, the traffic flows through it really well. It's used a ton of concrete though. 307, not bad. Now I wonder if these roads have sort of been pushed together a little bit more, you know. Um, then this thing up here could be smaller overall. That might have reduced the overall amount of concrete because this stuff is raised up, of course. But anyway, uh, that's worked out pretty good. I really like that design. That was a lot of fun. Um, let's find another level to play. Okay, this level looks very interesting. It'll probably take us a couple of attempts because I'm just forming an image in my mind of what we need to do. Kind of looks like we need to have a road between these two going back and forth. Now, these ones are only exits up the top here. You can see that one wants to go to the yellow one. I think that's the only one that uses the yellow exit. So, obviously, you've got to do this, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but it's connected nicely, and so that connects it there. And then it wants to go to blue and red. So, if we've got a road going between the two of these, that can peel down and connect to that. So, let's go ahead and let's drag out a big old road. And I want to do this with a bit of space between the two of them in case we need some of those little turnings off in the middle. Right, so that's worked out nicely. Now we've got to get you connected to purple as we do blue. So there's going to be a little road that peels off about here. One of those connections coming off here. And we'll go up and over and down and across. And we've connected. Sweet. Uh, so now that one needs some exits going down here. Let's peel off around... And I guess for red, it's going to be pretty simple. Go like that and connect. And then with the blue one, just need to peel something off somewhere around here. So, oh, sorry, red, we've done blue. Let's go up and over. That's a bit of a tight one right there, isn't it? And then we'll drop down cheekily on the middle, as we so often do, like so. And we'll get away with that one, of course. Right, and that leaves us with just one connection, which is the blue one going over there, which is actually super simple for us. It's just that. And that's the network complete. I've got a feeling we're going to get a good score on this one. Yeah, that looks really good, doesn't it? 
I think maybe this bit right here is is slowing things down just a touch because a lot of traffic runs through there. But at 527, is that not our highest score we've got yet? I believe that it is. I believe it is the highest score that we have gotten yet. When all the traffic points to all other places, you are going to have a lot of connections. So again, as part of our No Roundabouts Challenge episode, we're going to be building another roundabout, peeps. You knew I was going to say it, didn't you? Uh, but this time, at least, we have, you know, seen that it's not always necessary. Um, how do we get started, though? I think we're going to peel off here. We're going to go up. Oh, it leaves us no space for connections. Um, oh, this is going to be... Yeah, that, that really is nothing for connections, though, isn't it? Now, we said no roundabouts, but I think what we'll do is we'll actually make our main road a roundabout. The reason why is because not a lot of traffic is going to be going to these places. So, it kind of feels like maybe we could get away with this. Now, just over here somewhere, we need that connection before the exit, I think. <laughs> it might not actually be too much of a bother. Okay, so if that connection weren't done right, yeah, but it was, because the yellow one can go straight into the next thing. Interesting. Okay. And if this doesn't work out, we could always build like a super highway that just goes uh, across the top of it. Um, that turning was a little bit poor. You can see it slows down. So there might be room for some increased efficiency over there. Uh, then at the top here, it's like so. And then peel off the little roads, and that's the network complete, right? Let's see how it go goes. I think it's not going to be great on efficiency because there is just, yep, yeah, it might even get jammed. We got an efficiency score and it got jammed. That's a first. That is a first for us, I tell you. Okay, there we go. We got the super highway going through the middle. Um, I built the roundabout first and the highway after, and so some of our connections definitely look a little bit janky, but it does mean that those cars going through the middle get to do exactly that. And that looks so much better, doesn't it? Large amount of traffic occasionally coming through, but all is good. And 340, so we increased the speed even though we uh, used more concrete. I said speed, I meant efficiency. You'll, you'll find when you watch my videos I say the wrong words a lot of the time. They said no more roundabouts. They said Asuma, stop making those roundabouts. Well, I've made another one, and peeps. I mean, if you want to complete a level while it's jammed, this is the way. Check it out, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem there. Total efficiency, 84. Uh, we have encountered this sort of jamming before, and our solution to it has been to take the, the long way around and make it shorter. Now, we can get away with a lot, as we've learned. So let's go. Yep, ja yeah, we knew it was jammed. Jeez. Late to the show. Oh, that's technically a connection. Uh, that, was, that was kind of ugly, that one. Um, so then, this one blue going all the way down to red would be next. However, uh, not a lot of space to work with here. So again, going to just do a super janky little connection, come across the front of that, and I press the wrong button. I press the wrong button. Forgive me, for this is terrible. But I believe it still works. <laughs> uh, ridiculous connection, I know. <laughs> And it's still... Oh, it almost jammed. Do you know what? I reckon a little bit right here going there so there can be a little shortcut instead of going on to the roundabout. Uh, maybe the same thing just up here. Should have thought about it like that as well. So we just get a few extra cars off there. And in this thing, what if it wants to go to green? It's got a long way to go around. So again, going to just do some super jankiness going on over here. Drop back down. Connect. Just about. And 284 was the number to beat. 284. It definitely looks better, I've got to say. 306. You see, I know how to do this. I know how to play this game. But anyway, peeps, that's going to be it from me this episode. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Thanks as always. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.